Hey guys, it's Leticia, and I thought I'd do something productive today. But then I realized I'm already in my favorite PJs, watching Pretty Little Liars, eating ice cream, and also playing Kim Kardashian. So there goes my productive day, and I thought, what the heck, you know, I'm just gonna... I'm just going to talk. At first, I was going to show you how to cheat on Kim Kardashian and refill your energy bar. But did that happen? No. By the way, my shirt says I don't do mornings. There we go. Mm. But I didn't have anything, any ideas on what I should film. So, this is what I came up with. I thought it would be fun to show you or like explain to you what I'm going to be doing for decor dec what decorating my locker this year. I am not I don't have an accessible locker to show you and I don't actually have the materials to actually give you the finished product. But you know, I'm going to try anyways. At first, so first, I'm going to get a ton of these little pictures, little 5x5 five five pictures with like white borders on them. I will be getting double pictures because I ran out of money to get even more uh, pictures with tons of my other friends. So this is, yeah. Plus I printed out a whole ton of pictures that uh, I realize now were pretty stupid. So I could have used that on better friends. But did I know I posted books and a trophy and... Nails and cookies and a bonfire. The bonfire I'm keeping in the nails, but the cookies and the books are going. And some really bad pictures that include my ex. Probably going to get rid of that. But I'll be printing out tons of those pictures and just like pinning them up on my wall to make it all like collage -y. But like they're separated. They're not going to be like as close together as these magnificent pictures are. Oh, that almost fell. <laughs> but, um... They will be separated and like all over. I actually lied before and I actually did have a few things that I'm going to put in my locker. The first thing are these little shelves that have magnets on the back of them. And they have like three little things, like a bigger one and two smaller ones. Little places to put stuff, I guess. And, well, lockers are metallic, so they're going to stick. I'm going to use these to store pens, expo markers. All kinds of junk, but it sucks because I can't put it on my locker wall because I did get these about two years ago from my for my first sixth grade locker partner, and they just didn't really stick to the uh, to the actual locker door because every time I'd close the locker, they would fall down and so all the stuff in it. So I'm just gonna have to keep it on the inside of the locker and just like stick it in like at the top of it maybe and just like I finally get my own locker. Hopefully, if I get stuck with two, I'm leaving. I'm gonna tell my mom I'm moving. I'm sorry all my good friends, I'm not sharing a locker again, unless it's one of my best friends. Oh god, that would be fun. But that might ruin our friendship because I need a lot of space. I also got this little post-it thing for, uh, from that same locker partner in 6th grade. I haven't really used it, but that's because I didn't care for school at all. But now this year, I really need to get those straight A's so I can actually start practicing to have straight A's and be a good student because I need to get to Stanford and get a scholarship because, come on, I'm not getting a scholarship for sports. That's not happening. Uh-uh. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. So I'm just going to put this also probably on the inside of my locker because I don't think this sticks to the locker door anyways, too. So, yeah, just like little post-it notes for homework and I'll just be able to stuff it in my purse and bring it home and be like, oh, that's what we have for homework, okay. I also have this little orange crate that I use for like Sharpies and markers and extra stuff. Like I have this multicolored pencil. It has like four or five colors in it that you could draw and it's like a oh, rainbow. Yeah. And I have my compass thing. I think that's what it's called. I have no idea. Don't ask me. I'm stupid. But yeah, I had two of these. I don't know where the other one went. It's like my all my other stuff. Like, it just disappears, and then you just don't know where it all goes. So, I'm going to use this. I'm probably going to put it at the top or at the bottom of my locker, because my locker's pretty weird. I don't know. I don't know what schools have different lockers, because I know my high school has different lockers, and they're really short, which is weird. Last but not least, I have my handy-dandy pencil case that 
I don't carry around to every classroom because I have my purse for that and I can just carry a few pens and pencils in my purse. And this just has a few more extra pens and pencils and then tons of more markers, colored pencils. So my teacher tells me that I need to bring in coloring supplies. I just grab this out of my locker and I'm all set. This goes mostly for girls the rest of the video. So if you're a guy and for some reason you're watching this because I'm pretty sure guys don't decorate their, lo their lockers. I recommend that you can go like this video and then you can leave. Because the exit fee is a like. So go do that. Then I have two extra items. A, I have a donut bar, I think that's what it's called. I don't know, but um, this one is Dove in uh, Revive Pomegranate and Lemon Verbena scent. It's for 48 hours. No, who knows, maybe you're going to be really sweaty or something for one day. And then you're going to just go go to the bathroom, grab this from your locker, and just, like, do your junk. And then, <laughs> your junk. Yeah, for mostly only girls. You know, this isn't the last one, so I don't even know what I'm saying. But, a little fragrance um, mist. I got Aruba Coconut by from Bath & Body Works. I have another one, but that's a glitter mist, and I usually wear that, I put that on before school. But, you know, you could also put these in your, um, gym lockers, so after PE, you could just spritz all of this, and of course you're going to need deodorant after PE, so. This video started out with how to, ideas to decorate your locker. And now it's what to put in your locker, you know what, it's just. It's just a locker, okay, thing, because I thought, you know what, school's starting in, like, two weeks. <gasps> oh, my God! But, <laughs> school's starting in two weeks, and, um, it'll be a cute... I will be showing you what I'm wearing for my first day of school and my makeup probably by next week. So, this is now, and then next time I hang out with my friend, I'll show you how to cheat on Kim Kardashian. But I'll probably post that after the when I, how to uh, get ready with me. Actually, I'm not doing that. That's too complicated. You know what? Just moving on. Everyone needs to have this in the locker, not this smell, but hand sanitizer. You can carry this in your purse, which I probably will be doing. Um, this is also from Bath & Body Works. It's a pocket bag. This one is in Sweet Plum and Verbena. It smells really good. And then, last but not least, I have three lip products that I feel like need to be in my locker. Um, I usually do carry this in my purse, but most people like to carry them in your um, locker. You don't carry your locker. Put them in your locker. Um, I did have a mirror in my room. In my mirror. I had a mirror in my mirror. Yeah, guys, that makes totally sense. That makes... Oh my god, that makes total sense. But no, I had a mirror in my locker that was just a small suction cup one that I could just stick into it. But accidentally, I was using it for dance or whatever. I was trying to stick it onto something and I just like pushed. And it was like a circular one. So I pushed it and it just like shattered. It was really funny. I was, I was laughing for like five minutes. And it was just... <laughs> that was the second time I broke a mirror. Yeah. But as I said, I have three lip products. I have one of my EOs. This one is the Wildberry, I believe. I really wanted to get the pomegranate and raspberry. I believe that's the one. But my mom said, oh, you have three EOs already. You know when you have enough. Like, you never have enough. Never. Then I have this uh, little pinkish lip gloss by Elizabeth Arden. Um, my mom also got me this, but she had it. She didn't really like it, so... She's not really one for pinks or reds. I have another one that's in red for this, and I also carry that in my purse, but this is the one I usually wear on a daily basis. That one only depends on how my eye makeup is. That's why I only put red lipstick on today, because I only did mascara. Because whenever you do lipsticks, like bright colors, you don't want to attract too much attention to your eyes, mostly your lips. So, fun fact of the day. Then the very last thing that I feel like I need in my locker is this pink uh, lipstick. Um, you do, like, I don't really like lipstick, so I always have to put chapstick under my lipstick, so it feels like I'm actually wearing something. It's just like, so my lips don't feel dry. Like, I have this problem that if my lips aren't dry, then, I mean, if my lips aren't, like, wet, then I need chapstick. 
or lip gloss at least. So yeah, that's what the Elizabeth Arden one is for. But this one's sort of like baby lips, but baby lips I feel doesn't really work for me. It gets stuck on all the dead, the dead skin and it shows every single line. So yeah, that sometimes works, but it depends on how, and this one just like works completely. And this is actually from Sweden, the Color Workshop. workshop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Sweden because my best friend gave it to me with also candy. But that's it. Well, that's all I got for what you should put in your locker and how you should decorate your locker. And I feel like, you know what, that should be enough because it's already about eight minutes, I believe. I'll be sure to edit it and it will be so much shorter and I finally know how to edit so guys don't worry you won't see all my blabbering and blah blah blah. Yep. Bye guys see you next week. Check in, subscribe if you want to see what I'm wearing and um, what I'm wearing for the first day of school and my makeup and also check out my other videos and check out my social media and um Oh, also check out my new channel that I got with my best friend, Inward Awkward, that will be in the description box below too, because I feel there was one person, um, pr pretty sure, this is off my memory, so seek him, I believe, she commented on my best friend tag and, th and told me that it was a great idea, thank you, thank you, it's not my idea though, so <laughs> I sort of copied all my other favorite YouTubers, but yeah, but then she also, um, suggested a different challenge which we will be trying it depends on what our parents say about it because it depends how messy it is